How are you doing? Are you well? Uh, just one change, obviously, to the starting 15. Could you let us into a bit of the thinking behind that decision? Um, balance of the squad and the right team to, to play this game. It's not just about the starting team, it's always about the, 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 the 23 and uh, uh, the, not just the, the here and now, um, but managing people for. Um, what's to come as well. We was pretty lucky in regards to injuries uh, last weekend. Uh, getting people going who deserve it because of how they've, how they've trained is pretty important um, as well. Obviously, the lack of games with the provinces, etc. Um, always, all these pieces, they always um, come together and, you know, um, uh, at the end of the day, first and foremost, it's, it's about getting a, a performance against Argentina, but obviously uh, keeping the squad ticking over as well at the same time. What kind of response are you looking to see from the players? Are there any particular areas that you want to see improvements in? Yeah, most. Most. And from ourselves as well. We're all in it together. Um, uh, we're a pretty honest group. I, I, I suppose you've, you've seen that throughout the week with, with the lads. Um, coming to coming to um, meetings like this, uh, we're a pretty honest group. It makes it easy to find solutions and, and get to the point straight away, and make sure that we turn the page as soon as we can. So last week's results and the performance as well put a little bit more pressure on this week. Pressure's good. This it's what concentrates the mind. It's what you know, you see what, where you, where your character's at and. Um, you know, we want to win all our games, uh, but the opposition are always going to have a say in that. And uh, I think this is perfect um, because we've got another top, top draw opposition coming, and uh, we want to test ourselves because we we uh, we feel like we let a few people down last week. Dave, Rory, and Andy. Andy, um, just to follow on, on, on Marie's question there, on the back of the Disappointing results, disappointing performances. Is it a case that you can't wait for the, the next game to come to, to, to try and you know, eradicate some of the, the problems from, 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 from the previous game? It is. It's the, it's the best medicine for you, actually, to get back on the horse. You know, I'm sure you know, there's a bit of disappointment with a, with a few of the lads that they don't get to do that, but they understand as well. You know, it's, it's about the team, it's about the squad, but yeah. Um, and that's why I said this is the perfect game because. It's, it's very similar in as far as uh, the quality of the opposition and uh, where you need to be to, to draw out that performance uh, from yourselves. Ideally, would you prefer to have made more changes to the Argentina game? It's never ideal. That's the game. That's the, that's the nature of, of the sport. Uh, it is what it is the whole time and we, uh, we act accordingly. Elaborate on the challenge you're going to be facing. You mentioned the quality of this Argentine squad, and they've obviously really come on quite significantly in recent years. They certainly have. Uh, in fact, they've always been dangerous in, in, in recent years. You know, you look at the history of World Cups, etc., and um, uh, they, they've always been very dangerous. Certainly in, in, in one-off games, but the consistency of high performance of, over the last couple of years. Is a credit to uh, Felipe and his, and his coaching staff. Thanks, Rory. Andy, can you just give us some idea of your thinking around the pen slot? Obviously, you get Sam a run off the bench and you're just taking the second He's ready. He's um, for, for a young fella that's not had much game time provincially. Um, he's obviously had more of late, but he's. he's in an ironic way, he's been patient enough because he's he's probably in his own mind. He's thought that he's been ready for for quite some time. He's that type of kid. He's a confident kid. Um, so uh, the experience that he's got through being around the squad, he's he's a lot more comfortable in his own skin. Uh, the reason for taking him on the emerging tour was to make sure that he understood what it was to grab hold of his team and, and show that he is in charge and he showed that in abundance and we've seen uh, the knock on effect of that uh, within, within the squad over the last couple of weeks so in his own mind he's ready, he's a young kid um, that's in a, a pressurised type position obviously so he's going to make his mistakes but um, 
that's the nature of anyone coming through, isn't it? Uh, I mean, Jack, uh, along with um, quite a few of our players, would have been hoping for better, um, um, better performance. Some of them are lucky enough to get another chance to do that. Um, others are, are, are coming in, and, and some of them obviously played pretty well themselves. But uh, there was too many people. Uh, not right at the best last week, and we're hoping for um, for for everyone to improve. Not just Jack, obviously. Um, the control of the game is something that Jack uh, would um, be open and honest about of of, of wanting to um, to to step up a little bit uh, this week. But we've certainly seen that in training as well. Obviously, two days on the bench. How enjoyable is that part of the job? Being able to deliver that news to a player on a game week. It's fantastic. Um, I, I don't get bored of saying saying it. That we're, we're the lucky ones, you know. Um, we'll we'll celebrate that this evening uh, with the with the families and the new caps. They never know what's coming because they haven't been there before and and seen it before. Um, it's it's special for us to be able to do that. We've had plenty of them over o over the years, so each one is very unique within itself. I'm sure uh, Andy wanted to see a response in training this week after the defeat. Have you seen that? Yeah, but honestly, we trained well last week. It's about converting, isn't it? You know, when you get punched on the nose, how you react um, is 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 different, isn't it? You know, to to training and preparing well. We've trained well. Um, we've we've been very honest and open in, in in that regard, which tends to focus the mind in training anyway. But it was good last week. It was good last week. Um, so it's about dealing with uh, the moments in front of our face as the, as the 80 minutes progresses. That's what we need to get better at. And am I right in saying that Jonas Sexton has been in around the squad this week? He's in every week. You're not going to ask me this every week now about John Ealy. <laughs> You, you'll get fed up of being mentioned himself, like you know. He's, he's in every week. He's in every week. What do you hope his influence is? Uh, I've seen his influence, certainly with the kickers. Um, uh, they certainly come on in the last couple of weeks just by a bit of routine, a bit of bit of support, a um, bit of mentoring, etc. That's not just for the kickers. That's across the board as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other live questions? Yeah, Hi. Um, please, the on Kim and his contribution to Ireland as a player and as a person within. Yeah, uh, as, uh, and that's the right thing, really, as the player and the person. Um, uh, I've, well, I, I mean, the utmost respect doesn't doesn't <laughs> doesn't do it justice. Uh, it's been a pleasure to to, to be able to to coach him. I, um, I, I was thinking back this morning in regards to my time with Kean when uh, I coached Kean for the first time in 2013 on the Lions tour and I was amazed at his athleticism. I mean, he would have been right in his pump at that stage in 2013, you know, and if you remember rightly, he got a, a, a terrible ankle injury and, and uh, the tour was taken away from him. It was made for him, that type of tour. Um, He's been a world-leading loose head throughout his career. Uh, hence why I said, talk about the 2013 and, and, and Lions, etc. But the transition that he's made in, in the last uh, number of years in, in how he's um, not just accepted, but uh, relished the, 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 uh, the, the responsibility of being a mentor to Somebody like Andrew Porter, in, in the first instance, I mean, he's probably keen off 2013s, isn't he? You know, he's, he's probably a world-class loose head, and Keen's part of the reason for that, you know? He's been uh, selfless in that regard. Just watching him over the last couple of weeks, how he is with Jack Boyle, uh, is priceless to see, you know? So um, I have the utmost respect. He's been a legend um, of uh, our squad. Uh, for for all these years now, and he continues to be be so.